Back at you with another video. Um, today we're getting into the nitty gritty of the single post uh, 6,000 pound uh, lift that I just got. Um, right here we got a uh, Toyota Sequoia SUV. Do a little walk around here real quick. Here is the lift, 6,000 pounds capacity, comes with some warning stickers and stuff. You got uh, uh, adjustment bushings for it. You see the other ones uh, here in a minute. Uh, just the number on it. It's made by Ideal. And then uh, I did some modifications to it. I wanted to have an extension cord with it. So uh, I went with something like this. That way I can just plug it into the wall. And then when I'm done, I just roll it up and it stays with the lift. And I want to have an extra outlet here, power outlet for whatever, uh, you know, if you want to use a charger or you want to have a light or you know stuff like that I want to have that on there so that's why I made it like that so what you do is um, you jack this thing up squeeze the handle jack it up roll it in place and that's one of the things I really love about this um, this uh, thing is um, I can basically have this lift is this lift here is basically you know two in one so if i have to work on one car and i'm have to wait on on parts uh to show up um you know i can just drop the vehicle and basically lift another one up uh if uh, if i want to or uh, you see my shop is not all that tall so if need be uh, i can roll this outside i've got a pretty large concrete pad outside and then I can work uh, on a vehicle outside and lifting it all the way up in the air and, and basically stand under it. So it, it gives me, for, for what I've got here, it gives me flexibility. Uh, I spend, you know, spend about, you know, you can buy them for about, I believe it's like between $3,500 and $4,000. Um, I know a regular two post car lift is a little cheaper. Uh, you're looking at uh, probably about two, the three thousand dollars somewhere in there but i didn't mind to spend the extra money on this uh for the fact that i've got the option you know i don't have to have super co uh, thick concrete uh, you know if if i need a roll you know if i need a roll of skid steer in here for example I, that thing will not be in my way i just roll it out of the way and i've got the whole floor for myself um, or if I have to drop a car and lift up another, it's no problem. I can just do that. So let's get into this. Um, when when this thing is on the ground, these pushers, as you can tell, it's on, they're on lock. So you can move this thing around and get it in place. So I use a, a large bushing there. And over there, I've got a bushing and a half just to make up for the height difference. Then on the other side, you gotta squeeze those two handles, or one handle for, this handle is for that one. That handle right there is for that one. But you set it all in place, like that and that. And they can roll them up and down. Now, that's, and you got a push button right here. That noise was for the lock thing gauge right there. Thank you. 
And that's where I stop. And I push the relief. And there she is. Up in the air. <clears throat> Now, saying this, you got the large beam here, but that still gives you room to work on, you know, on on transmissions, the uh, the engine, all that uh, all that jazz. If you got to drop the fuel tank, I mean, there's still enough room uh, to do all that. Um, like I said, I I you know, for what it is, uh, so far um, I really enjoyed having this thing. So it's <clears throat> it's been pretty good for me that center beam does flex a little bit as you can tell but you know that's to be expected and she does have a little bit of jiggle to it but it's not that bad really so yeah, there she is in action. And like I said, you know, you can you can tell the different uh, different bushings, and uh, you know, you got several thread settings right here where you can uh, turn it up and down. It uh, it gives you a lot of options. So now I'm gonna lift it back up. I want to make sure it's all the way down. Push the up button. Release the lock. And there she goes. So there's that. All right, folks, if you got any more questions on this thing, um, you know, please leave them in the comment box. Like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot and don't cost nothing. And uh, y'all have a good day. Peace out.